Hi all, today we will discuss about the communication frequencies. Before jumping into the main topic, we will understand what is baseband signal and passband signal. Baseband signal is the signal in the original transmission form or we can say the signal which is in the natural form or unmodulated is called as baseband signal. For example, a speech signal. The bandwidth of speech signal is from 0 to 3.4 kilohertz and audio signal is 0 or 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is the basic signal or naturally generated signal. That's why it is called as baseband signal. Okay and uh, frequency response of such a uh, signal can be uh, shown like this it is having a frequency from 0 to some omega okay this is the bandwidth omega is the bandwidth of this particular signal now when it comes to pass band signal you can see it is the modulated signal or this signal has been tran uh, translated or shifted in frequency okay and thus it can be considered as a signal which is a pass band signal or a band pass signal which passes through a uh, band pass filter okay and here you can uh, notice the main difference is this signal is having in the neighborhood of zero zero frequency up to some frequency correct but here it is having two distinct frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 none of the frequencies zero over here okay that's why this is having a frequency shift passband signal is having a frequency shift examples of passband signal are the modulated signals say uh, in your analog communication am modulated fm modulated signals or phase modulated signals Okay, so this is the basic of baseband signal and passband signal. You can uh, go through the internet and get more details about it as well. Now, our main topic is to understand the different frequencies what we have in the communication systems. First of all, uh, we'll start with speech signal. Okay, speech signal frequency is from 0 to 3.4 kilohertz that is the bandwidth of this frequency is uh, this speech signal is 0 to 3.4 kilohertz what we are saying is here when I speak or when you speak the frequency will be continuously varying from 0 to 3.4 kilohertz okay we need to understand this it is not like 3.4 kilohertz always fixed one frequency it will be varying from 0 to 3.4 kilohertz uh, with the time and uh, the manner we speak or we communicate with people okay next one is next one is our audio frequency you need to differentiate between speech and audio audio means any other sound including speech okay it might be a music uh, in instrumentation sound okay now this frequency ranges from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz okay so speech is having a range of 0 to 3.4 kilohertz audio frequency is having a range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz now next signal will be uh, our video signal in video signal uh, we might have about 4.5 megahertz that is from 0 to 4.5 megahertz or up to 6 megahertz we can say approximately this is the bandwidth of video signal okay and all these three 
signals are base band signals remember this they have not been modulated they are in the original form and that's why we call them as base band signals okay now coming to the pass band or band pass signals we can have different modulation techniques say the first one is am am is amplitude modulation am radio amplitude modulation radio you might have heard or used the am radio where the frequency range given for this is 535 kilohertz to 1605 kilohertz this is the frequency range and the carrier frequency used for having uh, this uh, tunable frequency is 5 sorry 540 kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz this is the carrier frequency used for achieving this uh, particular range because the message signal maximum bandwidth considered to be 5 kilohertz that's why this uh, there is a variation between allocated range and the carrier frequency now the bandwidth for each channel or each user is given as 10 kilohertz for this particular am radio consider channel 1 from uh, it is transmitting from delhi it will be allocated from 540 kilohertz to 550 kilohertz that is the range bandwidth will be 550 minus 540 will be 10 kilohertz only again next channel which is transmitting from mumbai it might be having 560 550 kilohertz to 560 kilohertz in that frequency only it has to transmit okay we can tune the radio so as to get whichever channel we want so this is about am radio now coming now the next one we consider in the passband signals is our fm signal our frequency modulated signal you might have heard fm radios right here the range of frequency is given for the fm stations is 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz in these frequencies only uh, every other uh, radio channel is allocated okay say 98.3 fm that means this comes between 88 to 108 megahertz likewise you might say 92.7 megahertz or uh, 92.7 big fm okay and other uh, fm stations in different regions will be allocated in this frequency only and what we have common here is every channel will have a 200 kilohertz of bandwidth as you have seen in am radio the bandwidth given for e each channel is 10 kilohertz here the bandwidth given is 200 kilohertz that is the difference and there is a 20 75 kilohertz of frequency deviation we may frequency deviation we may experience in fm radio or fm signal radio you need to remember this okay <coughs> excuse me now we have seen am radio fm radio the next one we have is next one is our television or tv signals in tv signals there are different bands you might have 
54 megahertz to 72 megahertz which is VHF or very high frequency band in this uh, different channels are allocated for uh, with different frequencies okay next is 76 to 88 megahertz 76 to 88 likewise 174 to 216 420 to 890 megahertz in ultra high frequency range okay different uh, methods of communications in television also uses different frequencies but they are in the megahertz because uh, what you have seen in television uh, you are capturing video and transmitting it correct video signal in the base band only we have up to 6 megahertz so to modulate it with higher frequencies we need to have a higher band of or range of frequencies correct that's why it is in this range we have but in am and fm the methodology is different that we can see later now when it comes to television these are the frequency ranges and the next one we have is mobile communication correct in mobile communication the frequencies are of two type one is uplink frequency and the one is downlink frequency okay uplink frequency means from mobile to base station or your uh, mobile tower downlink means it is the frequency between base station to mobile so two different frequencies will be there and uh, from mobile to base station it is 896 to 901 megahertz or uh, gsm bands are different now again 1900 megahertz bands are also available for downlink this particular for this particular uplink the downlink frequencies are 840 megahertz to 935 megahertz in this frequency ranges only the different users are allocated okay this is about cellular mobile communication and the last one we have is satellite communication in satellite communication the frequencies for uplink will be in gigahertz one of the example I am giving over here that is 5.9252 to 6.425 gigahertz okay and downlink we have a frequency ranging from 3.7 gigahertz to 4.2 gigahertz that is for your downlink so what we have understood in this particular lecture is how different frequency allocation is provided or used in different communication scenarios okay thanks for watching if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment section thank you